Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and um, today we're going to look at the Windows firewall and how to know what software has access to you know the or as exceptions if you want in the firewall in order to be able to go to the web or receive information. Well that information it is very simple. You go to the search box and here simply type firewall. You will be of course sent to this search. Two things you'll see firewall and network protection which is the settings that are within the app but you also have Windows Defender Firewall in the control panel. Go to this one and in there you will go on the left side to advanced settings. Here simply look at inbound and outbound rules. You will see all the apps that are installed on your computer and what apps have access to inbound or outbound uh, rules. So depending on what you want to do. What are inbound outbound? Inbound is everything that comes in. Outbound is everything that goes out. Some apps need to have information that goes out, not necessarily that comes in, or others will need information that you know gets inside your computer but will not need to actually send anything so there's a set of rules that are very very different depending on what you have here in these rules you also have a type of access for example if you have a an app a specific app let's say here we're going to talk about Microsoft Edge here we'll tell you the type of um, possibilities it has. It's either public, private, or domain. Domain means it's everywhere within a network. Everywhere, not just on the internet, but within a network, a home network, or an enterprise network. A private or public is the type of access that it might have. So you have noticed that when your Wi-Fi connection, when you look at your Ethernet connection, it is either is private or public and if I go and watch mine for example open network settings uh, and when you look here connection properties what you see is I am on a public here it says network profile public I'll put it private because I rather have it private but that is the type of network so public or private makes a huge difference in the network. So here I'm going to go to 5G because that's the one I want. Um, and just make sure that you're private if you're at home or public when you're in a public um, network. So these apps, when it says public or private, will have access depending on what type of connection you've got. So if you're on a public network but a app says only on a private network, that means on a public network that app does not have access. Some apps you don't want to have access on public networks. Some apps you do depending on what you, you know, like a browser for example, you will want because you will want to access the internet. But there are apps that are more sensitive where people can connect and maybe see information or do things that you don't want, you know, people that you don't know would be doing or, or, or you know maybe connecting to your PC so that's why there are different rules private and public usually the firewall and the software has the rules preset so that it's already okay but sometimes you might need to change that and that's why going to this page and knowing it exists is kind of an important part of knowing uh, everything about security and there's a lot of stuff in here that you can see including remote access the protocols the type of part and what type of authorization it has it's very complete in the uh, firewall if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you for watching our videos